Hi, I'm Tristan Barringer Kenny, and I am going to be showing you how to grill, fold, and prepare a grilled bean burrito. Uh, burritos are a delicious and versatile way to enjoy your favorite foods. Uh, the word burrito actually comes from, or means a uh, small donkey, and comes from uh, its inventor who used the folding technique of a burrito to actually kind of preserve the heat and kind of keep the products that they were trying to sell good until they were actually being sold. And it kind of just caught on um, as its own kind of way of eating food. And uh, I plan to teach you uh, how to fold the burrito and hopefully give you some good ideas on some ingredients to use. Uh, so first off, you're going to need to know the ingredients that you need. Uh, one 12 inch or 9 inch uh, tortilla. If you use any smaller than that, it can kind of be hard to get all the ingredients inside when you fold it. Uh, you're going to need some beans of some sort. Uh, I use black beans, but you can also use chickpeas. You can use uh, pinto beans. And generally they're refried, but they don't necessarily have to be. They can just be mashed up. After that, you would add any of your uh, ingredients that you would need. I chose green peppers and onions, but you can use almost anything. Um, a lot of people use pork and chicken in their burritos. Uh, and after that, you would you would put in your cheese. I, I chose cheddar cheese, uh, but there are, you can use almost any type of cheese that's preferable. So, um, for starters, you're going to want to spread your beans in a rectangular burrito shape and kind of leaving around three inches on each end and then kind of a, it should, it should probably be about three inches in width and around seven inches in length. So you leave a, a good portion of space on each side for folding. Then after that, we're going to put in our additives. Obviously, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you leave space uh, for all the other additives because the burrito can get pretty big if you're a little too liberal. And I would say in total you use about half a cup of extra ingredients on top of the beans. Not a whole lot. Okay, and after that, we're going to go ahead and add our cheeses on top. And you only use a small, about a small handful of cheese, maybe a couple tablespoons. Nothing too serious. Okay, and now on to the more important part, which is the folding process. This is where it gets tricky. It's pretty much a pretty easy thing to do other than that. So for starters, you start with the tops and bottoms, folding like that, give it a small press, and you don't want your ingredients to be more than four inches in width at this point. So it should look more square. Then you do your right fold. And what I usually do is just tuck the ingredients in a little and then roll the burrito. And there you have it. From here, you just go ahead, place it on the seam so that the weight kind of holds the burrito together, stops the ingredients from spilling out. You then place it in the press, and then cook it until the burrito has been golden browned, and at which point you would then take it out, allow it to cool for 45 minutes, and then enjoy it. Or 45 seconds, my bad. Uh, so yeah. Uh, you could obviously go in many different directions with the ingredients you put in, but this is one example. And this is how to make a grilled bean burrito. Thank you very much.